Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today I'm going to show you how I fixed uh, temperature fluctuations on my hot end on my uh, Ender 3 V2. Now, anytime you, your 3D printer has a problem maintaining proper temperature, either for the hot end or the print bed, it's going to require something known as PID tuning. Now, what is that? Well, PID just stands for three numerical values, a P value, an I value, and a D value. And without going into a lot of techno babble here, what those values do is they um, create an algorithm for the software, for the firmware to use. So it has an idea of how not to overshoot your target temperature. So if you have it set to 205, it's not constantly going to 210. Uh, how to keep actively heating either the nozzle or heat bed so that it's not like your oven where it heats to a certain temperature, turns the element off, lets it drop quite a bit, and then turns it back on and heats back up. Um, with a 3D printer, that would result in terrible prints. You want to maintain a constant temperature on both things. So the firmware has to have an idea of how fast that nozzle is going to cool off so it can start applying current uh, to the heater cartridge so that it begins heating up before it drops too much off of the target temperature. And then it needs to know how fast it's going to heat up so that it doesn't overshoot that temperature and make it too hot. And when you do a PID tune, what you're going to do is a number of cycles. Um, in these examples, we're going to do seven cycles. And it'll take the average of all seven. And what that does is it trains it how your thermistor, your heater cartridge, and your um, uh, the, the, the board and the control for the heat and, or for the current going to the heater cartridge all works together uh, and gets an idea of how it's to maintain a steady uh, temperature for either the hot end or the heat bed. So um, to start this, the first thing you're going to need is a free piece of software. It's called Pronterface. Um, oh, uh, real quick, if you're using the Gyres, or however you pronounce it, firmware, custom firmware for the Ender 3 V2, it has PID tuning built in. Just go under, I believe it's the temperature menu, and there's a thing for PID tuning, and you won't need the Proner face. Um, if you aren't running that, if you're running stock firmware, just go to Google, type in Proner face like you see here, click enter. The first thing that comes up is going to be the Proner face website. Click that. Um, go to the top, click or pull down the download menu. Next, you're going to go to latest release. Once you select that, then you're going to look for whatever's suitable for the platform you're using. In my case, I'm using a Macintosh laptop, so I would choose the top one, download it, install, and then get it up and running. Okay, next, you're going to want to connect your printer to your computer via the mini USB port just to the right of the SD slot. Uh, this is on the front of Creality printers. Uh, make sure you are using a mini USB cable, not a USB-C. They are different. They look the same uh, unless you get really close, uh, but there is a difference. So um, next thing you're going to want to do is before you run the auto-tune, since you want this to be as fine-tuned as possible for printing, you want conditions to be identical to printing, which means turning on your parts cooling fan. So go to the temperature menu, select fan speed, and turn that up to 100. So once you've done that, we're gonna go into Proner Face, and in the upper left-hand corner, uh, you'll see it will, uh, next to port, it will should have something selected there, should be have something input there. Next to that, you're gonna click Connect. And once you do that, in the right-hand uh, text space, it should say connecting and printer is now online. So if you see that, you're good to go. The first thing we're going to do is type in a command to instruct the printer to do a PID tuning. So before you type any of this, listen to what I'm going to show you on the next four slides so you understand what it is you're typing. Okay, the first 
command in the string is M303. This is simply a command to tell uh, the printer to start PID calibration. The next number is we're telling it E0. Zero, zero is the designation for the hot end. Um, if you want to PID tune your bed, I have those instructions at the end of the video, but for this you're going to put E0 and that's telling it to heat the hot end. Next step is we're going to set the temperature. Now what you want for this is whatever temperature you most frequently print at. For me, it's terrain. So uh, I'm going to put S205 for 205 degrees. If you print at 190, it would be S190. You get the idea. Um, finally, the C with a number after it is designating how many tuning cycles you want it to do. Now, the more cycles you do, the longer it takes, but you really want between five and seven cycles to get a really good amount of tuning, get it really dialed in. So I'm going to put seven cycles, so C7. So what I'm going to do is at the very bottom of the right-hand side of the printer face window, I'm going to type M303, E0, S205, and C7, and hit send. And then this is just going to run through, sit back. It's, I'm going to speed this up here, but it's going to run through multiple heating cycles. When it's done, uh, you're going to see this. You're going to see have three default numbers, a P KP, a KI, and a KD. Those are your PID numbers that you're going to plug in next. So once you have those, the next command string you're going to type in is M301 P with the number for the P that it gave you under the default, the I value and the D value. Do not put any spaces between the P and the number, the I and the number, and the D and the number, but you do want a space between the numbers. So it'll be P, whatever number, space, I, whatever number, space, D, and the final number. So what I'm gonna type in here is M301 P 20.81 space I, 1.38 space D 76.46. Now those are my or 78.46. Those are my numbers. Yours will be different. So make sure you're typing whatever your numbers are. Once you put, get those in, hit send. The next command is we're going to tell the printer to save these settings. So you need to type in M500 and hit send, and that's going to tell the firmware to keep these settings. So I'm just typing that in here, and that's it. So that's all you've got to do to run a PID auto-tune. Now I'm going to pull it up, check how my numbers are looking, and it's staying at a consistent 205, so it worked perfectly. Now, if you're going to do your print bed, you need to enter in different codes. It's the same order as what I showed for the hot end, but the codes are different. So I'm going to run through these with you really quick. The first code is M303 E-1. The dash one designates your print bed as what's being tested. S60, because I usually run about 60 degrees temp. And then again, C7 for the number of cycles. You'll let it run seven cycles. Record the three PID numbers. Then you're going to enter M304 this time with the P, the I, and the D number. Send that and then enter M500 to save those settings. So that's all you've got to do to calibrate your print bed. Now, when should you do this? Well, if obviously if you were like me and noticing uh, either the hot end or the print bed um, having trouble maintaining a constant temperature, run a PID auto-tune. Um, it's also a good idea to do it if you ever replace your thermistor, your heater cartridge, or your hot end assembly. It's just, um, it's one of those things do you have to do it when you do those things? No, but it's just a good idea. It'll take you about 15 minutes to do, and it just dials things in, these things in a little bit better. So anyways, that's it for this time on Tuma 3D Printed Horrors. Thank you for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button.